name is Josh. Today I'm going to show you my Tesla coil. Wait, the Tesla coil is an electric device which converts a somewhat high voltage, say 5,000 volts, to 10,000 volts into uh, like 10,000, say like maybe 50,000, even a million volts. Now let's go over the most simple diagram of a Tesla coil, uh, courtesy of Alter's web page. Now, uh, here's the neon transformer, which we have right here. Mm -hmm. um, and then it goes over to the capacitor, which is uh, salt water it covered in motor oil to uh, hold the charge. And then it goes into the primary coil, which winds down and goes back to complete circuit. By, and then it induces a stronger current in the secondary coil, which discharges to uh, whatever is closest to it in the ground. Now let's go over a real world example of the diagram. It's the uh, neon transformer, and then it goes over to the capacitor, which holds charge, and, that, and then it goes into the primary coil, which induces a stronger current in the secondary coil, and goes up to the sphere, which reduces and it, which releases the charge, and which discharges all the electricity. What we have here is a spark gap, which helps the induction process. In a very important, uh, a very important part of our system is the grounding system, which is a heavy copper wire which goes outside through the wall and is connected to a copper pole which we have rammed into the ground. Without a good grounding system, these experiments could be fatal, deadly. Deadly. So I found a plan for a, a beverage bottle capacitor uh, provided by AMASI.com, and I decided to go with that. So I got a bunch of Sobeys, and I drank them and cleared them out real good. So we took the top for each one and drilled a hole in it. And we fastened the bolt through it, which became the center electrode. Then we filled it, and then we filled it with salt water and coated the top in motor oil, and uh, then we wrapped it in aluminum foil. We coated the capacitor in multiple layers of electrical tape. So after we assembled all six capacitors, we wired all the tops of all of them together. According to our plan, this capacitor is supposed to hold 4.3 nanofarads of charge. So 4.8 nanofarad, that's not bad. Now this PVC tube here is going to be our secondary coil. Okay, um, in order to make a uh, smooth coil, uh, you can make, make a jig like this so that you can wind it smoothly. Now, if you're lucky, it'll look something like this with about 800 windings on it. Now we're going to screw this to the base. This is going to be our first trial with the coil. Oh, now I'm going to experiment and see if moving the alligator clip up on the primary coil has an effect on the discharge. Now we're using more turns of primary coil. Now the arc was longer. Now we'll show how much ionizing radiation is in the air with the light bulb. This is a, big, a dramatic example of what you're exposed to when you live under high voltage power lines. I've had some trouble with this spark gap here and not working because it heats up too much. So I'm going to try a rotating spark gap. Now instead of two fixed contacts, we have a metal rim disc that rotates, and it has screws as contacts. So as it turns, the screws line up. Watch what happens as we turn it on.
seems to be some, uh, somewhat better from the secondary foil. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and I hope you've learned a lot about Tesla coils. Enjoy it, and have a good day.